we have seen how to add a transaction into queue okay how to add a transaction into our queue and we have added the transactions uh, here with a uh, no different state so let's say i have added here you know uh, one two three four five five transactions uh, with a uh, no uh, different uh, priority normal high low normal high and uh, one with a deadline okay and now i'm going to studio and now i'm going to cover how to get those transaction okay how to process them then how to turn those status whether it is completed or whether it is failed how to change those status okay let's see that and go back to studio and here i have a, a new sequence get transaction item okay go to activity panel and here type q and here you see get transaction item okay get transaction item which means i'm going to get the transaction from the uh, queue which i uploaded previously okay and uh, select your uh, orchestrator folder path and select your queue name okay and here there will be a advanced option and uh, so leave about this and i'm not going to do anything here and uh, here the output i'm going to create a variable that is a transaction item okay so i created a variable transaction item the variable data type is q item okay now i got the transaction okay and how to get those transaction how to process it let's say i'm going to uh, uh, add a one new sequence that is process okay process and here you can do whatever with the data which you are getting from the queue let's say if i open this queue and you have account number bank name branch emi and you can do whatever the process here in this within this process block okay so as of now i'm not going to uh, do any process just now I'm, I'm going to show you how to get those values using the key okay same like you now how we did for the dictionary variable right same right and i'm going to use a right line here and uh, so here i'm going to simply call this uh, transaction item okay transaction item and there is uh, one more uh, syntax you need to include specific content okay the specific content open bracket within double quotes and you have to provide your key okay what is the key here if you open this this is the key account number okay account number is the key and uh, copy this and go back and provide it here account number and uh, dot to string okay and same for this is for account number and uh, so if you want to get um, i mean if you want to get a few more uh, uh, keys and you can get it i'm going to get all bank name okay here i'm going to change the key bank name this is a one time activity only okay one time you are going to decide it you know, these are the uh, key and these are the value i'm going to process i'm uh, these are the values i'm going to use use it in my process and i can copy paste the same and i'm going to get two more uh, keys okay i mean two more values branch and open it and branch and save it and one more right line for uh, uh, emi okay so assume that i got these uh, value and you know i can do whatever you know process i can go and uh, uh, fetch the details uh, fetch some details from the website using these uh, value or i can uh, go and uh, do some uh, data manipulation or calculation anything i can do and assume that this is the process state so after processing it and i have to change this particular status right no i can change it as successful or uh, faulted or anything i can change right then go back to ui path studio after getting the transaction after processing your transaction what should i do i want to change the status right then go to queue and 
there is an activity set transaction status drag and drop set transaction status okay here just provide your orchestrator folder path okay then uh, here in the transaction item you can mention the transaction item and here you see I'm going to change you know the status as a successful okay successful okay let me run this and see here there are uh, a lot of uh, queues here okay there are uh, two four uh, five queues and let's see which one you no know, it's a uh, which one picked uh, by this get transaction first I'm going to step into okay so the get transaction uh, item no it got uh, executed and now it's going to process and see the process if I click on and see the right line notes printed the account number 128 why this 128 picked first and go back to orchestrator because I added the deadline hey pick this transaction 310 okay 955 a.m. okay this the this is the different time I added no like uh, uh, 3 uh, for uh, 340 okay 340 of our time so it's picked this first one so maybe the next uh, uh, execution maybe it may be picked this 127 or this 123 because the priority is i okay let's see and the step into and execute and you see here is uh, the account number branch and uh, bank details and emi so let's say i have uh, using i got this value and i process something okay now i'm going to change the status so i'm going to change the status as a successful i executed and that is done and go back here and refresh it and you see the status turned into successful and also you, here you see that no start time and the end time also okay and that robot which robot processed this particular transaction that also you can see okay and here one more option exceptions uh, that also we will see now and before that we'll pick you know uh, we'll execute one more time which activity you know it's going to pick uh, to see and uh, i'm going to execute again get transaction status and execute this and now step into now it's a pick to one to one two three and go back now it's a pick to one two three because this is i okay it may pick this one or this one okay and uh, go here and step into and it's a processed it's going into change the status as a successful okay now execute this now you see this is also successful now assume that i got the values okay i started the i started you know uh, processing those uh, using those values but suddenly you no know, i got uh, uh, some business exceptions okay let's say i uh, i got this account number and uh, I, you know, um, taking the taco number, I am you know, going to a website and adding the taco number and clicking on some buttons. But so throwing an error like, you know, uh, the account number is invalid. Okay. That is what, what exception is that business exception because we provided the input, but using that input, we cannot able to uh, process further. So that is a business exception. So I want to add, you know, a kind of, um, exceptions into my queue and also i want to make it that particular transaction is faulted because i'm not done no end to end right so how to change the status okay and you can uh, let's say uh, the account number uh, here you no know, you are getting the three digit account number right maybe you know if you have the four digit and you can put a if condition if it is a four digit and go and mark uh, the state transaction status as a faulted okay faulted and also you have to mention that reason okay what is the reason uh, the error type you have to mention the whether it is a business exception or application exception so here it is a business exception and i am going to uh, give the reason as uh, incorrect uh, or invalid account number okay invalid account number then now i am going to execute this let's see step into and step into 
and it's picked 127 because that is the next uh, priority okay 127 high priority and uh, step into and step into now it's going into set transaction state and it's got end okay and go back here and refresh it and you see this particular transaction got failed okay failed and uh, a few seconds ago uh, this is the exception type is business exception okay let's go and check it what is the business exception here you see invalid account number so i can here no i have a control uh, in orchestrator i can hum, come here uh, in this uh, chart department folder i can go here and i can check this queue uh, in a day how many transactions got processed and how many transactions got faulted and I can extract this report as well if I click this export button and you will you know uh, get your data okay this uh, in the in the CSV format okay and i will go back and uh, if i execute it again uh, so here i'm going to uh, change it like, like you know successful and uh, instead of uh, faulted uh, i mean failure and uh, yeah yes this is the place so based on your condition if condition so we are you know we know that you know this is the place uh, uh, we are adding try catch and we are you know uh, uh, adding the system exception there you can put one set, uh, set transaction status if that particular transaction no after three uh, retry if the same transaction no it's uh, getting failure you can mark it as a uh, for failure and uh, you can mark the reason as a system exception and you can mention the reason uh, using that exception message or source uh, okay and uh, for the business exception wherever no you want to place this uh, set transaction status for business exception you can place it there you know, as a separate activity okay for successful also you can you know, uh, add this okay and uh, here I'm going to make it uh, successful and again I'm going to run it It's got completed and click refresh and go here and see in the view transaction it is also successful there is only one left and that is also I'm going to process and I click on run file so that is also done and I click on uh, refresh yeah so all the items are processed okay nothing here so this is how uh, we need to use this uh, get transaction item to get the transaction from the queue and uh, uh, after processing it and we can you know, change the status like you no know, successful uh, failure okay so if i mark successful no need to give any reason and if i mark failure definitely i need to give a uh, reason okay so whether it is a system exception or whether it is a business exception okay